Last year, I moved into a new house and took over these six dilapidated garden beds. And when I say dilapidated, I mean crumbling. These things were just about hanging on. By the end of summer, the wood had rotted so badly that whole sides were falling off. You could say I had a problem. So as I prepared for this year's garden season, I had a decision to make. I could reframe my beds with new wood or do something entirely different. I'd spent a lot of time and energy last year turning these beds into no-dig beds. If you don't know this fantastic method for nurturing the soil and keeping weeds at bay naturally, then you should check out that video. The link's below. Basically, I'd gotten my beds completely weed-free, but now time was ticking. As the sides fell off my beds, weeds were creeping up inside them. I had to do something. So lovely people, I did something. Those of you who follow me on Instagram saw some of my renovation journey. I am thrilled with the results. Everything I chose from these Vago garden beds to the wood chip paths, I chose with durability and sustainability in mind. So why didn't I just reframe my beds with wood? First off, I am an organic gardener, so it's important to me to keep as many chemicals out of my garden as possible. So treated wood was out. I didn't even want the possibility of chemicals leaching into my soil. On the other hand, using untreated wood would have meant that my beds would eventually rot again, and I'd have to repeat the entire process all over again. No thanks. <laughs> So as I started considering my options for metal raised beds, I could have gone with galvanized steel, which is basically steel with a layer of zinc that protects the steel from oxidizing. But there are drawbacks. If you live in a hot climate, galvanized steel can absorb a lot of heat and potentially cook your plant's roots. If you use fertilizer with a high salt content or manure with lots of ammonia, that coating will corrode. Then you have zinc leaching into your soil. And while some zinc is necessary for plant growth, excessive zinc over many years time is not. Okay, so galvanized steel was out for me. I needed something else. Well, by chance last summer, I was sent a garden bed from Vego Garden, no strings attached. Now, I don't work with brands unless I use their product and really believe in it. So I put the bed to the test and I was really pleased with the quality. And then I got on the phone with Vego's creator, Robert. He's an engineer and also a dedicated organic gardener. And I asked him a lot of questions. I tend to ask a lot of questions. So Vego and I partnered up to completely overhaul my garden. And let me tell you exactly why I chose Vego beds. Vego is using a material that as far as my research can confirm, no other garden bed brand is using right now. It's steel dipped in a super corrosion resistant alloy of zinc, aluminum, and magnesium. This material was created to be used in animal agriculture environments, basically for cows, pigs, and chickens, where there is a lot of exposure to corrosive manure. Now, this is especially important to me because remember, I'm a no-dig gardener. I follow a method where each year, I leave the soil in my beds undisturbed and just add a layer of nourishing compost on top. I don't want that compost corroding my metal beds over time. Well, Vego's special material means that I can garden in these beds for the next 20 to 30 years and not worry about metals leaching into the soil. The cream-colored paint is another layer of protection. It not only helps keep the steel core cool, it also keeps corrosive elements at bay. Because it's not ordinary paint, it too was developed especially for harsh agricultural environments. And it's USDA certified organic. I asked Robert to show me independent data that could back all of this up. And he did. It turns out there's a top corrosion lab at Texas A&M University, and they tested Vego's bed against the other leading garden bed brand. You may know the one I'm talking about. Their beds look very similar. 
and the data proved that Vega's beds smashed the competition in both acidic and alkaline environments. Okay, so Vega won me over with its material, but I'm also a bit of a design nerd. So I love these rounded corners and that the top of the bed has a rubber lip so I don't scrape myself when I lean over the bed. I know Vego isn't the only ones with these features, but it's about the whole package, right? Take the hardware. Lots of beds come with cheapy hardware that rusts over time. Vego hardware is stainless steel. And see these crown caps? That means my six-year-old isn't catching himself on any exposed threads. It's this attention to detail, right? Vego is obsessed with the details. Robert texts me with prototypes and ideas he's working on for related products. I really appreciate that drive to continuously improve the product. Okay, so we haven't even talked yet about how Vego beds are modular. You can make up to 10 different shapes from a single set, from square beds to long and narrow ones, even round. Think of them like Lego vegetable beds, which you might have guessed is the inspiration for the name, Lego Vego. Constructing each bed is very straightforward, but it does take some time. First, you have to peel off the protective film from each panel, which is about as entertaining as peeling off protective film from a bunch of garden bed panels. But I get why it's necessary to protect the coating from getting scraped up in transit. Then you have to attach the panels with the provided screws and nuts, which is about as entertaining as, well, you get the idea. Most of you lovely people will be able to construct the beds with the supporting rods that come with each kit. But since I was working with existing garden beds, I had a slightly different workflow and had the extra step of needing to carefully chisel the dirt to conform it to the shape of the new rounded corner beds. You know, as I demolished the old beds, I found so many critters living in the rotting wood, whole ant colonies, plus lots of unidentified eggs that would hatch in the spring and possibly attack my fledgling plants. So the added bonus of having metal beds now is that I don't have to worry about the frames themselves becoming a potential home or food source for any garden pests. On the other hand, having metal beds means that I've had to think creatively about certain techniques I used before. Last year, I supported my tomatoes with a Florida weave. Using tall wooden posts, I nailed to the outside of my wooden beds. Since I can't nail anything to these beds, I got my hands on six foot rebar, which are super sturdy, and I sunk them into the ground outside of the beds. It was really straightforward, and as you can see, it works just as well. Now, once I had all my Vego beds in place, it was finally time to tackle the paths in between my beds, once and for all. The paths were so hard to keep up with last year. If I let the weeds get too long, they'd grow seed and those seeds would find their way into my beds. It was really frustrating. So I wanted paths where no weeds could grow anymore. I thought about pebbles, but as you see, I have a lot of surface area to cover and I didn't want to spend that much money on stone pathways. In fact, I reached out to you guys on Instagram for ideas and several of you recommended wood chip that I could get for free from a local tree cutter. And that's exactly what I did. In fact, I called up a guy who had taken down an old tree for us and he said he'd drop off half a truck of chip. It was free for me and saved him money because he didn't have to pay to dump it. So little by little, I laid down landscape fabric in the aisles and brought in the wood chip wheelbarrow by wheelbarrow. Mm -hmm. 
until finally I'd created the oasis I'd always hoped for. So now I come in here in the mornings with my cup of coffee and I don't have to worry about weeding or fixing a broken garden bed. I just get to enjoy nurturing my vegetable plants and that feels really good. Hey, have you done any garden renovation? Connect with me on Instagram, send me a photo and I'll share it in my stories. If you're interested in these Vego garden beds, you can connect with them too. I have a link in the description below. Until then, lovely people, happy gardening. <laughs>